Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Scheib and this morning we're visiting with Alethea Bruzek. She's Family and Consumer Sciences Agent for Boyle County. Now, turkey leftovers are what we are talking about. Holiday meals often bring an abundance of food, but sometimes we don't know what to do with them. Oh, yes. You know, you're cooking that big meal. You're going to have a lot of leftovers. It's just a given. So it's always good to have a plan for your leftovers beforehand. You know, one of the things I like to keep on hand are um, freezer bags, you know, those good freezer bags that you can get um, in a variety of sizes. And if you, like me, constantly lose the Sharpie marker that you keep in the kitchen to write the date and what the item is on the bag, um, grab you a new Sharpie because it's going to come in handy. But yeah, freezing your leftovers, that's a great way to um, extend the life of the food that you prepared for Thanksgiving. So when you have cooked your Thanksgiving meal or your big holiday meal, whatever you've got, always remember to refrigerate your leftovers promptly. Don't leave your buffet of all of your turkey, your stuffing, your gravy, your side dishes, all of that. Don't leave that out sitting for hours and hours. Remember that danger zone window of two hours at room temperature, you need to be able to refrigerate your leftovers before that two hour mark so that you don't end up with any type of foodborne illness. Bacteria can grow when food is not kept at the right temperature. So put that turkey, once you're done serving it, put it in the fridge and save it for later because we all know everyone's going to make a to-go plate, you know, but you yes. can save that turkey and keep it safe in the fridge or pop it back in the oven on, you know, warm to keep it at the right temperature. But, you know, put those leftovers away. Don't leave them out all that all night. <laughs> now, Alethea, when it comes to reheating those leftovers, do you have any safety tips for us? I recommend eating your leftovers within three or four days of cooking, but also when you reheat them, reheat them to at least 165 degrees of an internal temperature. Your meat thermometer is going to be your best friend um, in the holiday season and throughout the year, honestly. So reheat your leftovers to at least 165 degrees. So a couple of other things that um, I want you to remember when it comes to storing and reusing your leftovers. Of course, like I had said, eat your leftovers that are refrigerated within three or four days. But if you do, get out your handy dandy um, freezer bags and pack those full of your leftovers you're going to want to use your frozen leftovers within four months of freezing them. So definitely before Easter, your Thanksgiving leftovers <laughs> should be gone. Now, Alethea, do you have any tips for helping us get creative with these leftovers if we want to maybe switch it up? One of my favorite things that is so easy to make with leftover roasted vegetables, very common side dish that you may have, um, just take those roasted vegetables, put them in a big soup pot with your um, chicken broth and blend it up until smooth. Like, you know, blend mm. that up with your immersion blender or if you've just got a regular blender, that works too. And it's a really, really great roasted vegetable soup that mm. you can use and take for your lunches when we, you know, head back to work. And then too, don't um, throw away your, you know, stuffing and your cranberry sauce just yet. Take those Hawaiian rolls like you have mentioned. I love that idea. I can't wait to try that. Where you take your Hawaiian rolls and make turkey sliders with mm -hmm. those and your leftovers so there are lots of ways you can use them get creative or you know go with your tried and true just reheating but make sure that you reheat it to 165 yes I know there are so many creative people out there uh, we you and I talked about maybe next year getting together and yes. getting creative with Thanksgiving leftovers I'm hungry already right. Alethea Thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, for more food safety, you can always contact your local extension office. Thanks for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show, and we will see you next time.